and welcome to another Pokemon Go video. So jumping into Go Battle League and Season 4 is over and Season 5 has begun. Um, so good luck to everybody in Season 5. Um, some Pokemon that I think you're going to want to know about are these. So jump onto the Silph Road, check out the uh, um, links up in the top right hand corner. This is by no means uh, mine. Um, so do check out the, the Silph Road and follow um all the hashtags up in the top corner and you can uh, check those people out and they can uh, keep all their lists up to date but this is what you want to keep an eye on these are going to be the big pokemon that are running in the little cup um, and to be honest the biggest i've probably seen is bronzor it's an absolute beast um, learn those fast moves so four two uh, so it's confusion is its fast move um, and then charge moves four and five so that can tell you the difference between what it's throwing so make sure you remember those counts um, but keep in mind meta is going to change um, at the moment this very much is what the meta is but it's uh, subject to change so we'll um jump into a few of my early games and we'll see how we went um, so early on in the season you usually find some huge variation so you won't always necessarily be up against the meta um, but that is uh, I jumped in early so as soon as um, the league well updated so as soon as season five came out and um, it uh, kicked off I jumped in so I haven't got a team set up and we'll see what we uh, want to go with so I did label a few of them a uh, little just so I knew which was uh, going to be in the cup and I haven't double charged moved any of the well the only one I've double charged moved is the bar boach and the reason for that is um, because it's cheap it was uh, it was cheap to do so so I did it was like 10,000 care 10,000 stardust so why not um, I didn't want to double move some of them just because I wasn't sure so on the lead we've got uh, Stunky, uh, so they instantly switch out into their own Barboge, which is interesting. I thought Barboge might be a bit more of a uh, a unique pick, but there it is, first game, and uh, someone else has got uh, got one exactly the same. So expecting to see a Mud Bomb, which does do quite a lot of damage, and that's the thing that you will notice about um, the uh, Little Cup is just the amount of damage so that was a body slam and look how much damage that is granted it is a shadow so it's going to do a little bit more um, come out with the barboach and farm down and then out comes uh, the cottony so cottony is another one that you're going to find absolutely everywhere the good thing about well good and bad so cottony v um dino is going to absolutely destroy dino dino is like double um so the charm damage is just hugely uh, destroys Dino, um, but Bronzor absolutely destroys Cottony. So it's sort of, you've got to get that matched up right. So um, that was rank one and very first match that I actually played. Uh, and as you can see, they ran fairly meta teams. Uh, so up into rank two and we have a Dino mirror match. I didn't manage to win that, which is just outstanding. It must mean so my Dino's got awful PvP IVs, um, but obviously theirs has worse. So another Cottony comes in uh, and charms down the the Dino, and that's absolutely fine. Uh, so they're going to swap into um, what is a bit more of a spicy pick, um, but obviously swap in and they left the game that was ggs right there uh, managed to line that up fine so on the lead here i've got my dino against the bronzor so this would be a good matchup if i had uh, the dark type move so here what i want to do is fake the dark type move hopefully grab a shield which i did um, and then i want to look to oh and they've swapped out into uh, the whooper so whooper is again another um well, Mud Boy, and it's going to be doing a, a reasonable amount of damage. So they've not shielded that up. I'm going to shield up the Mud Bomb there um, and then look to farm. So they've got back to back Mud Bomb saved. Going to let the second one go through. Does do a fair bit of damage. And then I'm going to look to um, 
throw this energy straight away just because I do want to win this match or force their last shield. So let's see what they want to do. So they're going to come in with their bronze or which is absolutely fine with me. Uh, let's see if I can grab their last shield. I can uh, and then they charge me down. So for this one going to be um, yeah, an interesting match. Well, so I say interesting. So this is the worst match you will see. So this rivals Cresselia mirror matches. Um, so it, it's just a Bronzor v Bronzor is the new Cresselia mirror match, which is just awful. So um, swipped into Dino here. And the reason I do that is because I don't have uh, crunch. So I don't really have much play um, they know that that's game over and they leave that game so uh, really good there so in rank three and uh, actually am seeing fairly meta teams but this is what happens when you jump in early so diglett um, is a reasonable meta pick but it is getting absolutely destroyed by um dino uh, so it is a lolan diglett so yeah, it does do a, a little bit better. Out comes a shoulder. So shoulder is again, another one of those sort of fringe picks. Um, the ice typing can come in handy uh, and it can debuff. But as you can see, Dino with its dragon breath just absolutely goes to town and anything that doesn't resist it, it will go to town on. So come out with my um, bronzor here and bronzor V grass uh, is going to do pretty well however because it does evolve i shield up there and correctly shield the dark pulse so obviously you do not want to be hit by that dark pulse uh, it's going to do huge amounts of damage to the the bronzer which is uh, weak to dark type so able to take another win there and as you can see rank three i'm now jumping into rank four on the lead we've got why not so it's going to be running confusion uh going to be running counter and mirror coat um, and then they swap into the cottony and i directly swap into my bronze or um, so the reason for that is because obviously uh dino gets absolutely as you saw gets chunked away by those charms so you got to get out of there as quickly as possible all of these things charge moves are going to do absolutely nothing again i've only got psy shock on there um, the reason they're going to grab shields is because the so I want to undercharge just a little bit there. Didn't quite undercharge enough there, but that's fine. Um, if I had a second move on this, so if I was running Heavy Slam, uh, then that would be much, much better because it would mean that I could hit it for neutral damage rather than resisted damage. So come out with my uh, Bar Boach here and look to try and get grab their last shield with this surf and i'm able to do so so now i can go straight up mud bombs um so i do know that the mirror coat is not going to do huge amounts of damage as you can see it still does a uh, a little bit of damage they made a swap there uh, but that's absolutely fine because uh, i do want to take out this bronzor i don't necessarily want mine matched up with it so able to get the two mud bombs out there and then going to come in with my own bronzor and look to charge this down uh, so you don't need to shield this up going to be double super uh so going to be double resisting uh the psychic damage um, and here is a really good indication of where you want to be running uh double moves so here obviously bronzor uh bronzor dino comes out i'm not running uh, crunch so I can't really shield it down had I crunched there um, would have been able to win that game so um, that's where I've sort of got to rank four wasn't making a huge difference but there was definitely a couple of games that I lost purely because I didn't have double moves um, so I think at this point it's uh, time to invest Dino's turning out pretty good um, and Bronzor also is going to be a, a pretty solid matchup uh, pretty consistent in most teams let's be honest uh, until that meta shifts so again uh, trying to fake a crunch and able to grab a shield which is absolutely perfect um, i'm going to shield this up and it's a gyro ball so not the best move for it um, but not also not too bad so out comes their own dino um, i'm going to let this one go unfortunately it is the crunch which is really bad for me it does huge amounts of damage and then i'm going to throw my own uh 
move and I grab their last shield. So this is absolutely perfect. Um, going to let this go. And the reason for that is because one, I'm not going to be able to really charge it down efficiently. And two, I want to save a shield in the back. So out comes my Barboach here. And I want to get a little bit of a head start and energy. So I farm that down. So absolutely perfect. And let's see what comes out. So out comes, as I was expecting, uh, out comes their uh, bronze ore. They switch out of that, which is absolutely fine. And then I'm going to switch out into my... Um, Dino here, which doesn't seem like a good idea because the uh, bug type moves are going to be super effective against it. However, because I'm not running crunch here, I just need to be able to uh, take it out because I can't really threaten bronze ore. So I wanted to save the charge move on the barboach like I did um, and take that uh, game uh, there. So really good there. And like I said, the thing you need to remember is at the moment, 100% the meta is Bronze War, Dino, Cottony. Um, if you hit a team that doesn't have one of at least one of those three in it, um, probably unlikely. Uh, so keep in mind what they are. So you can see this, and like I said before, this is not mine. Follow uh, the people on Twitter, on whatever, up above. So what is it? Seven plus. Um, so follow, follow them. Um, because they've released some really good content also on uh, Reddit as well. So try and learn the charge move. So it's pretty easy for Bronzor and Cottony. They have quite slow um, animation fast moves. So you count those up. So four, sci four confusions to a Psy Shock, five to a Heavy Slam. And for Cottony, uh, if they're running Charm, then it's seven to a seed bomb and nine to a grass knot. So grass knots can do a little bit more damage on you for the bronze ore matchup, but still not worth uh, shielding to be completely honest, unless you're desperate and uh, have nothing else to shield. So um, try and at least remember rem remember those couple um, and go from there. But hopefully this was useful for someone. Check out a mixture of, uh, of those Pokemon ones that I would like to try. I'd like to give Hoot Hoot a try, which is a bit... Uh, different, I guess. Um, and then Chinchow uh, and Darumaka are all ones that I'd really like to try. So hopefully I get the chance. Um, hopefully this was useful for someone. And uh, thanks very much for watching. I will uh, see you in the next one. Bye for now.